Yeah, so uh, my name's Fernando Serge. This is my best friend, Caleb McAlexander. Caleb. Um, and we started our own podcast merely because I'm very impulsive. I texted him and I was like, hey man, let's start a podcast. He said how, I told him, I don't know. We <laughs> we'll, still don't know. We'll, we'll, no, we're figuring it out as we go. Our podcast is really all about bringing successful people in and talking to them about their adversities they, they face and how they got through it. And successful doesn't mean you have your own company and you're having a seven, eight figure salary. It means that you're financially stable, you're comfortable and you're happy with your life to us. Therefore, we bring in anybody that really just wants to talk and share their stories in order to let the listeners know that, you know, A, someone's there that you can relate to, B, tough times happens, tough times happen and you can get through it, but just that slight hope might change anybody's day. The first ever episode I put out, I said, uh, our, our email will be linked up to this if you guys want anybody to talk to about anything, let us know. And that's when we saw that there was a lot of people have been victims to either sexual, physical, or even verbal abuse. Girls Who Conquer is an organization based out of San Antonio, Texas. What they do is they hold conferences for girls uh, 12 to 18, bringing in speakers, giving them literature, and really just making sure they have all the tools that they need in order to face all the adversities that come with being a young woman in today's society. It was really big for us to want to give something back to them because we had seen such a big a big issue um, with people that we know very, very close. Yes. We uh, we got this whole March idea. You know, minimum 98 seconds, one person is affected by this. It's 882 people a day. Um, our goal was to walk a combined 98 miles. We surpassed that goal. We walked 135 miles, I believe. We had all set out to make it to Lubbock city limits. So we met at IHOP at uh, two in the morning. Two in the morning. We ate, yeah. we ate breakfast. Uh, afterwards, we loaded up at all subs about 3.30, stepped off at 3.30. And um, as soon as we stepped off, the winds picked up, started, yeah. started raining, started hailing. We could have chose a different day. We could have chose a different time to go out and do this whole walk. Um, but at the end of the day, victims don't get the opportunity to choose when their life changes forever. Two and a half hours later, mm -hmm. We hit our 10 mile marker. I know, I saw Caleb. We were both kind of down. Uh, I just looked at him and I started talking. What came to my heart, I was like, look man, God knows that our faith is strong enough to do this. And the devil is just trying to put adversity in front of us to make us stop and try to prove him wrong that our faith isn't as strong as we say. Or So we just kept going. On the road, we were there for 17 plus hours. About three quarters of the way, uh, we had three fourths of a mile left. I did, yep. and I saw the sign, and I just took off, finished, hit the city limits. My emotions just come pouring out. I go give him a hug, the group hug. I just looked at that sign. Our bodies, our bodies are gonna heal, but you know, the sexual and physical abuse is something that changes your life forever. There's healing, there's growth, but it's never gonna necessarily go away. You know, since since we do know people personally, it was a super moving experience, um, being able to kind of just get a taste of what these people are going through and yeah. to understand, you know, how they function day to day. If you wanna catch our podcast, we're on almost every single platform, Spotify, iTunes, um, YouTube as well and uh, Google at the Sergei Podcast, S-E-R-J-E. -E. If you guys are interested in donating to Girls Who Conquer, our social media is the Sergei Podcast. Uh, follow us on social media, DM us, we'll send you links. You know, there are people out here that care. <laughs>